Crazy dreams. Don't want to know. Didn't think this would happen. Just maybe it's a dream, but no, I think it's not. Well, I'm in the state. It's just a mad face thing. Can it happen? Then this minor craziness, anything can happen. Doesn't matter where or when. Just knowing this event will happen. Through this craziness is paranoia. How exactly? Well, everywhere I go, I see familiar places, faces, even dates. I can dream about anything. But if it happens, isn't it called deja vu? Yeah, that's what it's called. But what is it called when something highly impossible to happen? Let me take you a turn through these four fearful dreams. Is it highly possible for giant spiders attacking your house, just waking in this dream? I walk in a hallway, I hear the cartoons playing in the living room. As I turn, I hear a click, click, click. I turn to see these vivid colors on this horrid creature hissing and waiting for me to stay so it can wrap me up in a cocoon like a caterpillar growing to a butterfly. Yet, I am not a butterfly to this creature. I am its prey, so it can feed on me. And they say the smallest ones you shouldn't really bother. Yet, these are not small. I see daddy long legs coming to me, and I run, and I'm running. As I turn, I see my family as spiders, and I keep running and running and... I suddenly fall through a door. I'm in the kitchen, making pancakes just because I wanted to. As I'm coming back from my parents from upstairs, I feel weak and weak. When I get to the living room, I collapse. I hear footsteps, thinking it's my parents coming to check on me, but no, it's a mannequin coming to attack me while I'm weak on the floor with no strength. So I close my eyes and boom! I'm in the car. <laughs> I'm with family again, and all I hear is, ah, I see flesh on people's faces, rock coming from the sky, and I ask what's going on. They're like, Jordan, it's okay, we're fine. So we get home and sleep like it's a normal night until our house floods with water, and then we're gasping for air. That's how we know the wind is taking over, and then we see our, <laughs> then we see our smell smoke. It's like something's burning, but nothing's burning. It's fire, and then it's a rumble and rumble, and we're gone into a bottomless pit of nothing, and we're never going to recover. As I'm waking from these dreams, I'm screaming and crying. I try to distract myself, but it doesn't matter. I still have them. <laughs> when I tell my family, they're like, why do you hate us? Why do you think of us in this way? <laughs> I just think I'm insane. I better yet belong in asylum. It's not my fault that these come in my head. It's not my fault how people think I watch movies or TV shows to get these ideas that come in my head. These are not my dreams. They are my nightmares. Woo! <laughs> 